Hi everyone, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. In this video today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own GSG zigzag bracelet. Alright, let's get started. This is the project we will be completing um, this week. It's the GSG zigzag bracelet. So you can just see that very subtle zigzag effect that the bracelet has. Now these um, materials are for an 8 inch or 20 centimetre bracelet length. So just adjust that as you need. But you will need two different colours in your rings. The ring sizes is 16 AWG, which is 1.2 millimetre diameter wire. And you'll need um, an internal diameter size of a quarter inch or 6.35 millimetres. And you'll need 64 rings to make the 20 centimetre bracelet of each colour. For the class, we're just using a lobster class. And to attach the lobster clasp, we've got two slightly smaller different size rings here. We're using a 3.5 millimeter ID and a 4.5 millimeter ID ring for clasp attachment. And of course, you'll need two pairs of uh, smooth jawed pliers. We're using pliers today from our Zuron range. Uh, we've got a chisel nose plier and the short nose plier. Okay, to start this week, we're going to need two of our Colour One, or in this case, our BA rings closed. And what we want to do is, we're going to pop a twist tie on this, and we need the left side ring just to be overlapping. So they're not to be sitting on top of each other. We want them a little bit overlap. So if you put your twist tie in, that'll help hold it. In that position for you. Okay so our, with this weave we've got two main things that we need to know. So there's the eye here that's formed when the rings overlap. So if we put a ring through there that's called going through the eye and when we put a ring that goes around that eye but not through it, so through both the rings but not through where they overlap, that's called around the eye. So that's the two main things that you need to know for this bracelet today. Okay, so we'll be working uh, with two different colours and we'll be working in um, lots of eight rings per colour. So we've got two here already, so we need to pick up another ring of the same colour and we're going to simply put that straight through the eye there that's formed by those first two rings and close that ring up. And then we want to flip that ring that we just added to the right hand side. Okay, so our work currently looks like this. Taking up another colour one ring, this time we want the ring to go around that eye that's formed. So we just put it through the ring here on the right, bring it around the eye and up through the ring on the left. And then we close that eye up. Oh, that ring up sorry okay so our work currently looks like this so you can see this ring here has gone through the eye and this ring has gone around the eye all right so we position our two new rings so they sort of stand up at us and you can see that where they overlap another eye has formed and that's where we want to place our next ring through that eye there so picking up a colour one ring, we're going to feed it again just straight through the eye, close it up okay, and let that eye fall to the right hand side. The next ring goes around the eye, so through the ring on the right hand side, around the back and up through the ring on your left hand side. Oops, and close that ring up. Okay, and this time we sort of push those rings out flat, and you can see that that eye is there again in the middle. We've got six of our color one rings in place, so we just need to place two more. So, again, the first one goes straight through the eye, close it up. Let it fall to the right side of your weave. Your second ring goes around the eye. So we just go through the front there, 
spinning it around and coming up through the back of the left ring and we close that up. Okay, so that's basically GSG. To make a straight GSG bracelet, you just keep doing that all the way to the end of your bracelet. Because we're doing a zigzaggy effect, we're actually going to change this up a little bit. So when you change your color, okay, we're gonna make a slight difference to the way that we're laying those rings. Okay, so it starts the same. We take our first color two ring and we go straight through the eye that you can see here from the last pair of rings. And we close that up as we have been doing. Only this time we lay that ring to the left side of our weave. So before we were putting it on the right side, with the color two ring, we lay it on the left side. And then as before, the second ring in that pair goes around the eye, just like that. You can see it's around. We close that up. Okay. And then we just push our rings forward. So again, you can see that eye there that's formed where they overlap. We take another color two ring, we put it through that eye, we close it up. Remembering to flip it to the left hand side this time. And as usual, the second pair will go around the eye. Oh, a bit tricky. There we go, around the eye. Okay. And you just continue like this until you've added your eight rings of your color two. So we flip it over to the left. The next ring goes around the eye. Okay, last pair of our color two rings through the eye. Close it up, flip it to the left side of your weave and the second ring goes around that eye. If you're having a little trouble getting it to come up through the back, you can always just feed it through the front like this and just close it up. Just be careful not to turn your work around. You do need to remember which, which side is up, which side you started with. Okay, so we've placed both of um, our colors at the moment. So our next step is to go back to our color one rings. And this time we feed it through the eye as normal. We close it up, but we flip the ring to the right side. So with the color one rings, you always remember to flip that first ring to the right side and your color two rings, you flip the first ring to the left side. The second ring in the pair always just goes around the eye. Okay. Through the eye, close it up. Okay, oops, sorry about that. Flip it to the left. Second ring goes around the eye. And we close that up. Okay, standing those rings up so they look at us. We go through that eye there, we close the ring, we flip the ring to the uh, right side, our second ring we weave around the eye, close it up. So we just continue doing that every um, color has eight rings and swapping the layering. So remember your color one rings, which is the color you started with, whatever color that is. Uh, this first ring that goes through the eye, when you finish closing it, you lay it on the right side of your weave. When you flip over to your color two rings, you lay that ring on the left side. 
and you just keep doing that until you reach the length of the bracelet that you require. So I'm going to keep doing that and I'll meet you back here to show you how to attach the clasp to your bracelet. So once you've reached the length that you require, and in this case it's 20 centimeters or approximately 8 inches, you'll be wanting to add your clasp. So what you just need to do is take up the smaller of your ring ID. So in this case I'm using a 16 gauge 1.2 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter ID ring. Um, it doesn't have to be this size, just use whatever you have on hand, but this is my preference for attaching clasps. So what we're going to do is we're just going to feed this through the eye as we have been doing, just like that. And then before we actually close this ring up, we're going to pop our lobster clasp on, close the ring up. Oops, a bit tricky with it being smaller. There we go. Okay, so that's that end of the bracelet with the clasp attached. Go to the beginning of your bracelet, remove your twist tie, and this time I've chosen a 4.5mm ID, just something a little bit bigger, but again, as I said, just use whatever it is that you have on hand, and you slip that through the eye there at the end, and we just simply close that up, and then you're finished. So you just open your bracelet up and attach it to that on the end. You're more than welcome to put it like a chain or something. If you want to add an extension chain on the end of that, that would be great. But there you go. There's your completed GSG zigzag bracelet. Hey guys, I hope you found this tutorial of benefit to you today and that you enjoyed making your GSG zigzag bracelet. If you have any comments or questions about this tutorial, please feel free to leave them in the section below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, don't forget in the description tab below this video, there's the links to our online store. So if you click on that link, you'll be able to purchase all the components and tools that we used today. Um, also in the description tab is our social media pages. So if you want to pop an image of anything you've made from this tutorial or any of our um, tutorials at all, pop it up on Instagram and tag us or put it on the wall of our Facebook page. We'd really love to see what you guys are up to. Um, if you did enjoy this video today and you'd like to see us make a few more, uh, don't forget to support us by perhaps giving us a, thumb up, a thumbs up, leaving comments, sharing the video, or if you haven't already, um, subscribe to our channel. Every little bit of interaction that we do have with you guys goes a long way towards helping us and it enables us to continue making these um, great tutorials for you. All right, so again, I hope you really enjoyed the tutorial today and we'll see you again sometime in the future. Bye.